All right, hi everybody, it's Bonkai922, here to bring you Kenichi. Now, it seems like this week, the Kenichi was, was, was just basically the aftermath. That's all this chapter was. Aftermath of, well, the, the current post that you fight with Yomi. That's what this was. So we're pretty much out of this kind of arc that they're going, that they went into, and we're going into a new thing. This is the transition of that. And this chapter actually didn't really reveal anything. I mean, this chapter was pretty much like the ending, like said, oh, this is going on next. But besides that, the, the, the bulk of the chapter was exploring what has occurred to every person that was involved in this fight. So, and the pretty much beginning of it was, you know, them leaving the battlefield. And it was basically 526, the ones who got out of the darkness. In the beginning part of it, we just see Berserker and Ogata, and Ogata's carrying Lou, and they're out, they're out of the they're getting out of the way. They're leaving the battlefield. Everybody's leaving the battlefield, uh, harboring different feelings from the you know, end of the fight. And then we go back to Ronyo and Zanpaku, and we see Shigure and uh, Sakaki. And she's talking to him. And they're basically concerned about Kenichi. And I believe it was Kensei, the other Kensei. Who said it? Um, saying that, oh, he just saw somebody who was similar to like him dying for his own reasons, dying for his uh, martial arts way. And then they're just talking that he can't move Kenichi, and he was just staring at the ceiling. Um, and. They're just saying that he, they should slow down the pace of his training because of what happened at the at the, the amusement park, and saying that with a person like T Tanaka dying, it must have affected him in a very strong way. And he shows up, Kenichi, and just says, "What are you doing? Can we start our training with our training already?" And uh, Sakaki's like, "Oh, so are you okay?" He says, "It might be a difficult and deadly path, but it's the path I chose, and I'm going to walk it my own way." So. Typical shonen cliche thing. Yeah, he has what he's basically saying, Kenichi. And then after that, we got a little, little. they're all shocked about it. And he's just thinking about Tanaka-san. Tanaka saying, don't, what he said to him, don't become like me. And then we get, you know, Ak Akisame and uh, uh, Ayato talking about Ogata and Ayato feels that you know that he's the incarnation of evil, casting a shadow on him what to do with him. He's like, damn Kensei. Um and he's like saying Ayato was kind of interesting in this chapter. He was like saying but something was getting stronger, strong within him more than we th thought. Uh the strength of a person. And that comes out later in the chapter. Because as menacing and evil, according to what people were saying in this, this, in this scenario about Ogata, truth be told, what was revealed at the very towards the very end, kind of, you know, flips the coin in the other direction about Ogata. You know. I'll get into details more about that. But the rest of the chapter was just him just talking to Akisame, this part. As if he was bullied in school, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and they're just complimenting Shiguri, saying, oh, he's a very skilled boy, he really does try, and so on and so forth. And they're just starting training. We see Miyu, you know, oh, it's Miyu and her boobs. And you know. I can understand why King Lion is. <laughs> he dropped his head, Fairy Tail. I can see. But unlike Fairy Tail, this show. Anyway, then after 
after that, we just go back to, I think, uh, yeah, the Shimpaku Alliance headquarters with uh, Nejima and everybody. And they're just saying, oh, you're kind of, you're okay, you know, so on and so forth. Saying that it's only scratches, scra scratches that he received and he doesn't mind because if it is to help his Kadichi and his faithful slaves. Then they start talking about the other people in Yomi and where they are. For example, um, Kushina. Yeah, Kushina Chikage and Rachel Stanley, the wrestler. And apparently they're not at school currently. Uh, but on for, on, they, they're not there at the moment. They didn't show up at school. But they're also saying that that, you know, I find it funny that uh, Herbert's name, first name is Natsu. That, that, that's, that's not having to do with this. But yeah, they were talking about that. That he's still going to school, even though, you know, what, what has occurred. But some people, like, like I think Tanaka, he's like, he's not surprised when you think about it. Because his master was Ba. And he was, he followed the martial arts way of the darkness. And Neji was just saying, leave him be right now. Your commander orders it. Um, and then he's saying to them that where, they're asking where for uh, Miyu and Kenichi are. They went to visit somebody. And we go to the hospital. And that's what this chapter was called. Those who were out of the darkness. Obviously they're talking about Rimi and... Rio too. I was actually surprised. Rimi survived. I was like, whoa, she did? I mean, the, but when we see her in this chapter, she looks like a vegetable. And I'm like, oh, shit. You know? That, I was surprised. I was like, Jesus Christ. She, she, she's done for that's not, that, but that wasn't the case when we fur, you fur, fully see her. So we have basically have Miyu and Kenichi there, and they're going in saying, "Oh, does he like sweets and stuff?" And all this other bullshit talking about. And she's wondering, Miyu, what are their conditions are? And we see Ryuto going in to a Rimi's room, and it looks like, yeah, that she's like a potato. She's a vegetable. She's unconscious. And he says her name, Rimi, and the next page, boom. She wakes up. I'm like, huh? That was a big shocker. I was like, <laughs> came out of nowhere. I was like, what the fuck? So, pretty much, the story behind this, she survived. Yeah, that, 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 that just blew me over. You know, it was like, she's like, yes, yes, we have to survive. I'm like, what the fuck? You were supposed to be dead. She says she was pretending to be dead, and then he felt uh, very, um, you know, off by it. And then we see Miyu and Kanishi coming in and say, can we interrupt something? You did! Get out, enemies! You know, she still sees Miyu as an enemy. Um, <clears throat> so, um, and Kanichi's like basically saying, glad that you both are okay. And he says, thank you, thank you. Your master introduced you to a doctor that knows about the disruption of key. And this is when something is said that I thought was very interesting. I think, I'm not sure if it was Kenichi who said it or Miyu, but <clears throat> Kenichi was saying, according to Master Kurosuji, if someone hadn't stopped Alante's key out of going out of control, she wouldn't have been saved. We didn't realize it, Miyu says this, we didn't realize it, but in the end, can say stopped her key that time. And Rio 2 says, yeah. So what that means <clears throat> is that Ogata saved Rimi's life. That, to me, tells me one thing. He's not... He seems to be evil. That is what we believe. 
that, oh, God is evil and he's sinister, but in actuality, he's not. He just believes his martial arts way. You know, that is, that's the way it is. He does it in a different way. Um, and me is saying, oh, you're not, he's not going to go after you just because you left the darkness. And, he, and Ryuto is saying, he never had the intention. I stay with him the longest I can understand. So basically, he's leaving them be. I know Rimi also saying, okay, we go to the aquarium. Now, after that scene, this was the other extra scene of the chapter, which was Ogata passing by these three who are walking in. And he says, the weapon teams, master, the weapon teams, master and disciples are at the headquarters. I guess we're at the final stage. And it says, the weapon team appears, how will Ryo and Zopaku react? And that was the end of the chapter. Now, confidentially, I like how this was continued, concluded, this arc that we had, the whole muse, uh, uh, amusement park battle royale thing. I like how this was concluded because at the end of the day, Rimi survived, Ryuto survived, and what ended up happening from this was that Kenichi got another ally, another friend, and Ryuto, and I guess you could say Rimi as well. Now, and the other thing about this chapter that I really like, and I really should give this a four. I really want to give this a four, and I think I am going to give this a four. I'm going to change my rating. Give this a four, only because of the realization we get from Ogata. See, you, because because this whole arc of, of when he showed up and he was fighting Tanaka and he was doing all this evil shit, you thought, oh, this guy's a son of a bitch. But in actuality, wait a minute, it's not as bad as he seems. He seems evil. But there's a little underlining there. The silver underlining here, where it's saying he's evil, but at the same time, he's willing to go a certain mileage for the people he's taught. And that's what he did. He was able to save Rimi. And, you know, Rio too basically understood that. And I, I really like how they did the Hmong, you know, he did Ogata in this chapter. It showed that he really isn't any that he bad of a guy. He really isn't. He really isn't. You know. But as you saw at the end, those guys from the weapons team, they're, they're coming into headquarters. So this is going to be moving things forward in a certain kind of way. And things are going to get whoo, really crazy soon. Next arc, I really don't know where this is going to go. You know? I mean, we had the tie dead arc, then we had them getting you back, then we had the whole thing with Romy, this battle royale thing at the amusement park. Now, we have to wait and see what happens here. Because it's anybody's guess what's going to go down from here on out. But, four out of five, I enjoyed this chapter, like what they did with Ogata. I think this whole thing with Ogata was done very nicely towards the end. It's a conclusion. Because you had the, you know, after that fight, you're like, oh shit, I fucking hate Ogata. But in actuality, you said to yourself, oh wait, he saved Rimi. You know, that, that that's really good, um, I want to say character development here. Complexity. You know, Uber Kari with his complexity. Well, this is complex. This is a complex character, in a way. Because he's evil, but yet, yeah, he was a, he he was willing to save one of his students. I gotta give props. Gotta give props to Ogata. Gotta give him props. That was nice gesture. It makes him look looks makes him look in a different light. Look at him in a different light. So yeah, I like that. But that's all I got for you guys. This is Bonkai Nine Twenty Two. I will see you guys later. Upload this, the movie review I did, and then. Shigeki no Kyojin. Ah, uh, you, Aaron, Aaron.
Uh, I saw the clip. I saw the thumbnails. He's going carrying that boulder. Oh shit. Oh shit. Get ready for that shit. So yeah. I'll see you guys later. Oh god. I'm not that bad of a guy. Not that bad of a guy.